All right, good day, everyone. My name is Alatunde, and I'll be taking you on a guide through the ProLearn platform to understand it as a student how to navigate your way through the ProLearn um, interface to check out your courses, to see how you could submit them, and also to check out the various um, courses you've been enrolled in as a student, and also be able to check your profile, check your messages, and communicate also with the teacher. Okay, it's just a very short guide, and I'm sure with this, you'll be able to understand how it works and go through it as a student. All right, so now I'll be using the student's um, username and password, and student's name is going to be FedNut. Password is going to be Okay, so now I've been logged in as a student, okay? Now the best thing to do is to first of all make sure that you go through this interface that you've been logged in. So please go through them and most of the time you actually see courses that you've been enrolled in from here. But sometimes you probably will not see that. If this is your first time, you probably may not see this interface come up like this. But the best way to do that is to first of all come to this section here to click on this section to see the number of courses you've been enrolled in as a student okay so now once you click on this particular course you see courses that you've been assigned to as a student all right so now first thing to do is to i'm going to click on this game there because i want to check this out as a student so now once i click on the game there it takes me to another page where i have the number of courses in their weeks are assigned to this particular section now this particular area shows me the number of courses i have here and the number of weeks assigned to the particular course now for this particular first week here i have lesson one with um, introduction to game dev and lesson two sprite drawing and animation and then i have an activity attached to this particular week course now for the next week i have a particular introduction to sprite movement i have another activity and i have like a forum section here now i could always it depends on now it just depends on the particular teacher that gives you a particular course okay now if i have a teacher that wants to just give me a section a week one section here and doesn't want to do this doesn't want to put in another week section that's fine it depends on how the teacher has aligned as assigned a the courses per week so now for this first week i'm going to this is my course this is lesson one i'm going to click on it to check out what i have in my lesson one so now lesson one course components of game what is game development so an introduction to class so now i have this and i've read through all of these i i understood what my teacher has taught me now i want to go to the next lesson in that particular week so i click on lesson two and i have lesson 2 sprite and drawing and i have a content here okay it's a slide actually now i could always come over here and click on slide 2 to see what she's saying okay now what this particular okay this particular slide here I could this could be like a demonstration of what the teacher is trying to teach or trying to introduce to me from my lesson one so now I could follow through this go through this and see what my teacher is trying to explain to me about this okay so oh, wow okay and once I'm done with this I could always once I'm done with this I could now go to the next which is the next activity of course you could do this from 
the game you could do this from this section here perhaps maybe when i click on this i could just once perhaps maybe i've checked this lesson one and i've checked this lesson two and i want to just i went to relax and i came back to this section i could always just click on this activity one to go straight to the activity to see what the activity is all about okay draw a stick man change its color make it glide 20 times okay i could do that now no screenshot of completed task should be submitted now what i am meant to submit is a screenshot of what i have actually worked on now if i have if i have the software of what my teacher is trying to explain to me to work on i could easily just do a short screen, a screenshot of the task i send it okay now how do we send the screenshot how do we send the submission how do we send the task now um, before we do that, we can see our submission status here. No attempt, not created. That's that not created because there's not been an attempt submitted. Now, due date was on last day. So, okay, 12 a.m. That was 12 a.m. today. Now, assignment is overdue by 10 hours, 12 minutes. You could always try as much as you can to meet up with the deadline of the assignment, okay? Because most times teachers give um, digital rewards for assignments done on time. Alright, so now add submissions. I could now submit my task. And this is the best way to submit your task. Most times. The, there's a file submission forum that comes up and enables you to submit your task. Okay. Now once I click on this, it will come up as a task i could click on this and take me to my file um folder where i could drop in my screenshot or i could just drag and drop it let's see what works for us include the file this file okay just let me get the coffee. Let me see. Let me choose this. Okay, so I've set it. Okay, so I've uploaded the screenshot of my file and then save pages. So I've submitted the video. So you see that this place has changed from our attempt to submitted for grading and I have not been graded. I mean, was submitted 10 hours late. So it's going to be like a penalty if I submit late. Okay. And this is the file submitted. Okay. Now, if I want to edit my submission, I could always click on this to edit my submission. But I don't want to edit it. So I'll go back to my all right so now this has been checked as i've completed the activity okay i could probably check this also all right so as I've, so I've updated this particular week subject okay i've done this already so now the next thing to do is let's let's go over to the interface and see now once i submit this and my teacher grades it it comes up to me as a notification that your grade has been um, you've been graded and this is your grade or thereabout and then you want to click it takes you to see and view your grades now the next thing to do is check our profile browser now this is your profile here it shows you the level at which you put into for each subject given now game dev i've submitted the first week and it shows me 42 percent completed already now if i was to go to the next week and complete that also it will show 100 percent completed okay now these are the courses that i've been given and these are the things that are needed once i submit once i complete those particular courses it shows um, complete already it shows 100 percent rather so as a student it's very easy for you to go through your user profile to understand your dashboard and to check out your courses various courses you've been assigned to it's very easy for you to do that once you can locate the course that has been given to you 
you do that particular task in it and once you come here to check the level at which you got into on that particular subject it shows you the level if you've not attempted anything on it it shows you zero but if you've done something it shows you that there's a particular percentage that you've done it up to okay now that is it for students i just i made this video to be very short and precise so that we can understand the most important feature of the ProLearn pl platform for students. Thank you very much for watching.